Checking in at the hospital. Excuse me, could you direct me to the admissions desk? Sure, it's just down the hall, second door on your left. Thank you. Is this where I register as a new patient? Yes, you'll need to fill out some forms with your personal information. Got it. Do I need my insurance card with me? Yes, please have it ready along with any identification. Understood. How long does the registration process usually take? It typically takes about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on the workload. Okay, I'll fill out these forms and wait. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Feel free to ask if you need any assistance. Discussing symptoms with a nurse. Good morning. I'm experiencing some chest pain. Could you help me? Of course. How would you describe the pain? Is it sharp or dull? It's more like a dull ache, and it comes and goes. Have you experienced any shortness of breath or nausea along with it? No, just the chest pain. Should I be concerned? It's hard to say without running some tests. Let's get you checked in and evaluated. Okay, will I need to see a doctor right away? Yes, we'll prioritize your case and get you seen as soon as possible. Thank you. I appreciate your prompt attention to this. You're welcome. Your health is our top priority. Waiting for test results. I'm so nervous about these test results. The waiting is killing me. I understand. It can be anxiety-inducing, but try to stay positive. I know, but what if it's something serious? Let's not jump to conclusions. It could be something minor. I hope so. I just can't shake this feeling of dread. Would you like me to stay with you until the results come in? That would be really comforting. Thank you. No problem. We'll get through this together. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Anytime. We're here for you every step of the way. Consultation with the doctor. Good afternoon. How are you feeling today? Not great, to be honest. I've been experiencing a lot of fatigue lately. I see. Have you noticed any other symptoms accompanying the fatigue? Yes, I've also had some unexplained weight loss and joint pain. Hmm, those could be signs of several different conditions. Like what? I'm really worried about what's going on. It's too early to speculate without further testing, but we'll figure it out. Okay, but I'm feeling really anxious about this. Can you reassure me? I understand your concern, but let's focus on getting you the care you need. All right. Thank you for listening to me. Discussing treatment options. Based on your symptoms and test results, we have a few treatment options. What are they? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to feel better. We could start with medication to manage your symptoms and see how you respond. And if that doesn't work? We may need to explore other options like physical therapy or surgery. I see. What are the risks associated with each treatment? That's a good question. Let's discuss them in detail so you can make an informed decision. Okay. I appreciate your transparency about this. It's important to us that you feel comfortable with your treatment plan. Thank you for taking the time to explain everything to me. Preparing for surgery. I've scheduled your surgery for next week. How are you feeling about it? Honestly, I'm a bit nervous. I've never had surgery before. It's natural to feel anxious, but rest assured you're in good hands. I trust you, but I can't shake this feeling of unease. 
Would you like to speak with the anesthesiologist before the procedure? Yes, that might help ease my mind a bit. I'll arrange for you to meet with them prior to your surgery date. Thank you. I appreciate you accommodating my concerns. We want you to feel as comfortable and informed as possible. I'm grateful for your support throughout this process. Post-surgery recovery. How are you feeling after your surgery? Any discomfort? I'm in a bit of pain, but it's manageable with the medication. That's to be expected. Have you been able to eat or drink anything? Not really. I'm feeling quite nauseous. I'll ask the nurse to bring you something light to settle your stomach. Thank you. How long will it take for me to recover fully? It varies from patient to patient, but we'll monitor your progress closely. I hope it's a speedy recovery. I can't wait to get back to my normal routine. Rest is crucial for a successful recovery, so take it easy for now. I'll do my best. Thank you for taking such good care of me. Discharge Instructions your surgery went well, and you're ready to be discharged. That's great news. What do I need to do before I leave? I'll go over your discharge instructions with you and answer any questions you may have. Okay, sounds good. When can I resume my normal activities? We recommend taking it easy for the next few days and gradually increasing your activity level. Got it. What about medication? Do I need to continue taking anything? I'll prescribe some pain medication for you to take as needed. Thank you. Should I schedule a follow-up appointment with you? Yes, let's schedule a follow-up in about two weeks to check on your progress. Sounds like a plan. Thank you for everything. Asking about home care. I'll be going home soon. Are there any special instructions I need to follow? Yes, we'll arrange for a home health nurse to visit you regularly. What will the nurse do during their visits? They'll help with wound care, medication management, and monitoring your overall health. That's reassuring. How long will I need their assistance? It depends on how quickly you recover, but we'll reassess your needs regularly. Okay, I appreciate all the support I've received during my stay here. We're glad we could help. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Thank you. I feel much better knowing I'll have some extra help at home. You're welcome. Take care, and we wish you a speedy recovery. Expressing gratitude to hospital staff, I just wanted to say thank you for all the care you've provided during my stay here. It was our pleasure. We're happy to see you recovering so well. I've been so impressed by the professionalism and kindness of the entire staff. We strive to provide the best possible care to all our patients. Well, you've certainly exceeded my expectations. I'm truly grateful. We appreciate your kind words. Is there anything else we can assist you with? No, everything has been wonderful. I just wanted to express my gratitude. It means a lot to us to know that we've made a positive impact on your experience. You certainly have. Thank you again for everything. Take care, and don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything in the future. Arriving at the emergency room. Excuse me, could you help me? I need to get to the emergency room. Sure, follow me. What seems to be the problem? I'm experiencing severe abdominal pain and nausea. I'll inform the triage nurse. They'll assess your condition shortly. Thank you. I hope it's nothing serious. Stay calm. You're in good hands here. 
I appreciate your reassurance. I'm just a bit anxious. It's understandable. Let's get you the help you need. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Take a seat, and someone will be with you shortly. Discussing allergies with a nurse. I'm allergic to penicillin. Will that be a problem? Not at all. We'll make a note of that in your medical records. What if I need antibiotics? We have alternative medications available that won't trigger your allergy. That's a relief. I've had bad reactions in the past. It's important to communicate any allergies to your health care providers. I'll be sure to mention it every time I receive treatment. That's the best approach. Your safety is our priority. Thank you for being so attentive to my needs. You're welcome. We want to ensure you receive the best care possible. Waiting for x-ray results. I just had an x-ray done. How long until I get the results? It usually takes about 30 minutes for the images to be processed. That's not too bad. I hope everything looks okay. Try not to worry. The doctor will interpret the results as soon as they're available. I'm trying to stay positive, but it's hard not knowing. Would you like me to stay with you until we hear back? Yes, that would be comforting. Thank you. I'll keep you company. We'll know more soon. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. We're in this together. You're not alone. Receiving news from the doctor. I have the results of your x-ray. Please have a seat. Is everything okay? I'm feeling a bit anxious. Your x-ray shows no signs of fractures or abnormalities. That's a relief. I was worried it might be something serious. It's always best to rule out any potential issues. Are you experiencing any pain? Just some minor discomfort, but nothing too severe. I'll prescribe some pain medication to help alleviate your symptoms. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate your prompt attention to this. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any further concerns. I won't. Thank you for your help. Explaining rehabilitation options. Due to your injury, we recommend starting physical therapy. What does that involve exactly? Physical therapy focuses on restoring mobility and strength through exercises. Will it be painful? You may experience some discomfort initially, but it shouldn't be unbearable. How long does the rehabilitation process usually take? It varies depending on the severity of your injury and your progress. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get back to normal. That's the right attitude. We'll support you every step of the way. Thank you for explaining the process to me. Comforting a worried family member. I'm really worried about my loved one. They've been in surgery for hours. It's understandable to feel anxious, but try to stay positive. I can't help but think of all the things that could go wrong. The surgical team is experienced and skilled. They're doing everything they can. I know, but what if something goes wrong? Let's focus on sending positive thoughts and support to your loved one. You're right. I need to stay strong for them. I'm here for you. We'll get through this together. Thank you for being so supportive during this difficult time. Anytime. Lean on me whenever you need to. Addressing concerns about medication side effects. I'm worried about the side effects of this medication. It's important to be aware of potential side effects, but not everyone experiences them. 
What should I do if I do experience side effects? Notify your doctor or nurse immediately so they can adjust your treatment plan if necessary. Okay, that makes sense. I just want to make sure I'm prepared. It's always better to be proactive about your health. Thank you for answering my questions. Of course, your well-being is our priority. I feel better knowing I can reach out if I need help. We're here for you every step of the way. Preparing for a procedure. I'm scheduled for a procedure tomorrow. What should I expect? You'll need to fast for at least eight hours before the procedure. Are there any other preparations I need to make? You may need to stop taking certain medications beforehand. I'll provide you with instructions. Will I be awake during the procedure? It depends on the type of procedure. Some require sedation, while others do not. I'm feeling a bit nervous about it. That's completely normal. We'll do everything we can to keep you comfortable. Thank you for explaining everything to me. You're welcome. We're here to support you. Reviewing post-procedure care. The procedure went well, and you're recovering nicely. That's a relief. What do I need to do during the recovery process? You'll need to take it easy for the next few days and avoid strenuous activities. Will I need to follow any special dietary restrictions? You may need to stick to a soft diet for the first day or two. Got it. What about medication? I'll prescribe pain medication as needed to help manage any discomfort. Thank you for taking such good care of me. It's our pleasure. Your health and well-being are our top priorities. I appreciate all your help. Discharge planning. You're ready to be discharged. Do you have someone who can pick you up? Yes, my spouse will be here shortly to take me home. Great. I'll go over your discharge instructions with you before you leave. What should I do if I have questions or concerns after I get home? You can call our helpline and they'll assist you or connect you with your health care provider. Thank you. I feel better knowing I'll have support even after I leave. We're here for you every step of the way. I appreciate all the care I've received during my stay here. It's been our pleasure. Take care and don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Thank you. Goodbye. Expressing gratitude to hospital volunteers. I just wanted to say thank you to all the volunteers here. You've made my stay much easier. It's our pleasure. We're here to support patients like you in any way we can. Your kindness and compassion haven't gone unnoticed. We're glad we could make a positive impact during your time here. You certainly have. Thank you again for everything. It's our pleasure. Take care, and we wish you a speedy recovery. Goodbye and thank you. Explaining hospital procedures to a new employee. Welcome to the hospital. I'll be showing you around and explaining some of our procedures. Thank you. I'm excited to start. First, let's go over the check-in process for patients. Do they need to provide any identification or insurance information? Yes, they'll need to present their ID and insurance card at the admissions desk. Got it. What if they're unable to provide those? We have procedures in place to assist patients who may not have access to those documents. That's good to know. What about emergency situations? In emergencies, patients are prioritized based on the severity of their condition. I see. 
Thank you for explaining everything to me. Updating family members on a patient's condition. I'm here to update you on your loved one's condition. How are they doing? We've been so worried. They're stable, but still in critical condition. What does that mean exactly? Their vital signs are stable, but they're not out of the woods yet. Will they be okay? We're doing everything we can to provide the best possible care. We appreciate all your efforts. Please keep us updated. Of course, we'll notify you immediately if there are any changes. Thank you for your attention to their care. Assisting a patient with mobility issues. I'm having trouble getting out of bed. Can you help me? Of course, let me assist you. Thank you, I feel a bit weak. Take your time, we'll go at your pace. I appreciate your patience. It's no trouble at all, I'm here to help. I'm starting to feel a bit more steady. That's great progress, let me know if you need anything else. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to ask if you need help again. Supporting a patient with mental health concerns. I've been feeling really anxious lately. Can we talk? Of course. I'm here to listen. I'm worried about my mental health. It feels like a constant struggle. You're not alone. Many people experience similar challenges. I feel like I'm drowning in negative thoughts. It's important to reach out for help when you're feeling overwhelmed. I'm afraid of being judged or labeled as crazy. Seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Thank you for saying that. It means a lot to me. You're welcome. I'm here to support you through this. Dealing with a medical emergency. We have a medical emergency in room 302. I need assistance right away. What's the situation? Is the patient stable? The patient is experiencing chest pain and difficulty breathing. Call a code blue and alert the medical team. I'll meet you there. On it, I'll also inform the attending physician. Time is of the essence. Let's move quickly. I'm on my way. Keep me updated. Will do. We need to act fast. I'll ensure the crash cart is ready. Thank you. Let's go. Providing emotional support to a patient. I'm feeling really scared about my diagnosis. It's completely understandable to feel that way. I don't know how to cope with this news. It's important to lean on your support system during difficult times. I feel like I'm alone in this. You're not alone. We're here for you every step of the way. Thank you for saying that. It means a lot. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. I appreciate your support. Anytime. Clarifying medical instructions. I'm a bit confused about the medication instructions. Can you explain? Of course. What specifically are you unsure about? It says to take one pill three times a day. Does that mean with meals? You can take it with or without food, whichever you prefer. What if I miss a dose? Try to take it as soon as you remember, but don't double up on doses. Got it. Thank you for clearing that up. You're welcome. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to ask. I feel much better now. I'm glad I could help. Respecting patient privacy. I'm sorry, but I can't provide you with that information. Why not? I'm their spouse. 
I understand, but we have strict protocols regarding patient confidentiality. I just want to know how they're doing. I can provide you with general updates, but I can't disclose specific medical details. I guess I understand. I just worry about them. It's natural to be concerned, but we must respect the patient's privacy. Thank you for explaining that to me. You're welcome. If you have any concerns, feel free to speak with their doctor. I appreciate your help. Assisting with mobility exercises. I'm here to help you with your physical therapy exercises. Thank you. I'm a bit nervous about it. It's normal to feel that way, but we'll start with some gentle movements. Okay, what do I need to do? We'll start with some simple stretches to improve your flexibility. I'm ready whenever you are. Great, let's begin with some shoulder rolls. That feels good. I didn't realize how stiff I was. We'll gradually increase the intensity as you progress. Thank you for your guidance. Addressing cultural sensitivities. I'm not comfortable with male doctors. Is there a female doctor available? Of course. We'll do our best to accommodate your preferences. Thank you. It's a cultural thing for me. We respect and understand your cultural beliefs. I appreciate your understanding. Your comfort and well-being are our priorities. Thank you for being so accommodating. It's our pleasure. Let us know if there's anything else we can do for you. I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Assisting with activities of daily living. I'm having trouble bathing myself. Can you help me? Of course. Let me assist you to the bathroom. Thank you. I feel embarrassed asking for help. There's no need to feel embarrassed. It's my job to assist you. I appreciate your kindness. It's no trouble at all. We all need help from time to time. I suppose you're right. Let's focus on getting you cleaned up and comfortable. Okay, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Don't hesitate to ask if you need anything else. Facilitating communication with a speech impairment. I'm having trouble understanding you. Do you need assistance? Yes, I have a speech impairment. It's hard for people to understand me. That's okay. Take your time, and I'll do my best to understand. Thank you for being patient with me. Of course, communication is key to providing the best care. I appreciate your understanding. We're here to help in any way we can. Thank you. Let's work together to make sure your needs are met. I agree. Thank you. Providing emotional support to a terminally ill patient. I'm struggling to come to terms with my diagnosis. I'm here to listen if you need to talk. I don't want to burden my family with my fears. It's important to express your feelings, even if they're difficult. I feel like I'm losing control of my life. You're not alone. We'll support you through this journey. I'm afraid of what the future holds. We'll take things one day at a time and focus on making each day meaningful. Thank you for being here for me. Anytime. You're not alone in this. Respecting end-of-life wishes. I've decided to stop aggressive treatment. I want to focus on quality of life. I understand. We'll honor your wishes and provide comfort care. Thank you. I want to spend my remaining time with my family. We'll do everything we can to make you comfortable. I appreciate your support during this difficult time. 
You're not alone. We'll be here for you every step of the way. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome. Take care. Goodbye. Assisting with pain management. I'm in a lot of pain. Can you help me? Of course. Let me administer some pain medication for you. Thank you. The pain is becoming unbearable. I'll also adjust your positioning to make you more comfortable. I appreciate your help. It's important to stay on top of your pain management. I understand. Let me know if you need anything else. Thank you. You're welcome. Discussing advanced directives. I want to create an advanced directive. Can you help me? Of course. Let's go over your options and preferences. I want to specify my medical wishes in case I become incapacitated. We'll document your preferences to ensure they're followed. Thank you for helping me with this. It's important to plan for all eventualities. I agree. Let's make sure your wishes are clearly communicated. Thank you. You're welcome. Comforting a patient with dementia. I'm feeling scared and confused. Can you help me? Of course. Let's sit down and talk. I don't recognize anyone or anything. That must be frightening. You're safe here. I want to go home, but I don't know where that is. We'll take care of you and ensure you're comfortable. Thank you for being here for me. You're not alone. We'll support you through this. I appreciate your kindness. Anytime. Providing support to a grieving family. We just lost our loved one. We're struggling to cope with the loss. I'm so sorry for your loss. Please accept my condolences. We don't know how to move forward without them. It's okay to grieve. Take all the time you need. We feel lost and alone. You're not alone. Lean on each other for support. Thank you for being here for us. It's our privilege to support you during this difficult time. We appreciate your kindness. Anytime. Managing family conflict. We're having a disagreement about the best course of treatment for our loved one. It's understandable to have different opinions during stressful times. We can't seem to agree on anything. Let's focus on what's best for the patient's well-being. But I don't want to make the wrong decision. We'll work together to find a solution that everyone is comfortable with. Thank you for helping us navigate this difficult situation. It's our pleasure. We're here to support you. We appreciate your guidance. Anytime, take care. Facilitating family meetings. We need to have a family meeting to discuss our loved one's care plan. Of course, let's find a time that works for everyone. I'm worried about how everyone will react. It's important to create a supportive and open environment. But what if we can't agree on the best course of action? We'll listen to everyone's perspectives and find common ground. Thank you for helping us through this difficult process. You're not alone. We're here to support you. We appreciate your guidance. Anytime. Take care. Supporting patients with autism. I'm feeling overwhelmed by all the noise and activity. I understand. Let's find a quieter space for you. Thank you. I also struggle with bright lights. We can adjust the lighting to make it more comfortable for you. 
I appreciate your understanding. It's important to create a sensory-friendly environment for all patients. Let us know if you need anything else. Thank you. You're welcome.